Maram Garmani is a serial entrepreneur. She took over as CEO at Bamboozer in 2018, post their IPO. Um, she's behind their successful transformation uh, and introduction of live video shopping. Uh, and Bamboozer um, streaming technology has reached millions of people across the globe. Uh, and in 2019, they were the first of their kind to launch live video shopping. Since then, the company's been empowering some of the world's largest retailers and brands by building the next generation of retail and e-commerce powered by live video shopping. I'll hand it off to Miriam to tell us how a bamboozer does exactly that. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you, Stu, for the lovely introduction. And hi, all of you. Nice to e meet you. And I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and I'm going to shut off my camera to be able to show you. Perfect. So I'm going to go through uh, what we do at Bamboozer, but also, of course, talk about the really big trend about the live video shopping that's taking over the Western world right now and actually transforming the way we we're used to uh, do shopping at, at retail stores or e-commerce. So when we talk uh, about our product, it's a lot about the next generation commerce. And of course, it's a lot of e-commerce, but e-commerce is also connected to the omni-channel and of course, then um, the e-commerce. I'm going to demonstrate some the tool, uh, going to go through some business cases, the user journey, and also a little bit in the end about the integration and features. So let's get going. Um, so we're the market leading live video shopping solution right now, and also the preferred vendor for enterprise campaigns. And we've done some proof of concept and a couple of global rollouts with, uh, with larger global enterprise companies uh, around the world. Um, it's good to know that I normally say that because we're a startup in a in a, in an old body. So uh, Bamboozer was actually one of the first companies in the world doing mobile live streaming, and they started back in 2007. Uh, of course, since the early days of a smartphone, and the first phone that they actually did a mobile stream from the founders was a Nokia 3370. So it didn't even, uh, it actually even have a screen. So uh, we have been doing this for many years. Uh, and that's also makes us confident going into the new niche with live video shopping, with having all of this technology and, and competence during the year that we have built up. Um, also, uh, I would say that live video shopping and what we're able or transforming e-commerce is that we're on a mission to actually uh, elevate and change the whole e-commerce game, which actually live video is uh, is doing right now, if you look around the world. And it's actually making shopping interacting, engaging, and fun. And I'm going to go a little bit into that uh, to just give you an introduction. So this is actually a picture of Netta Porter uh, back in 2000 when they were uh, launching and it, it looks maybe strange to some people it wasn't that long ago it was around you know 20 years ago and if you look today uh, 20 years later I would say a lot has changed but if you look at how all companies out there actually present their products not much has changed so we still have a picture we still have you know select the size and then add to bag so i would say in the way that you present your product or your service uh, on ecom it's quite static still so like everything from payments to deliveries has you know gone quite smart but still how a lot of companies you know present their offering is still through you know some text and some pictures that often does not say that much to you as a consumer. So what is live video shopping and, and, and what are we doing? So this is just a, a recap of one of our customers that's doing live video shopping. So what you do is that the host that's going to host the event is live streaming from a simple mobile phone with amazing quality. And that's also Bamboo's strengths. We've been doing this for many years. And you have live chats uh, where you can actually interact with the consumer when they can ask you questions about the product, the quality, whatever it can be that they have on their mind. You can send hearts. You can do product promotion directly in the live video, so, so you don't have to leave the video to look at the product. 
you will have the minimized player that makes your you know website go from something static and quite boring to something fun and interactive it's a hundred percent branded experience it's good for everyone to know that bamboozer is a software company we don't like the end consumer never sees bamboozer so it's a hundred percent branded experience and also what we see here is here is the recorded version so you can also of course, download the video and also the chat to understand what your consumers uh, ask for questions or what type of feedback you got. Very uh, uh, fast about the 2020 highlights. So we've done around 600 plus live shows with a couple, with our customers. Uh, here are some bigger highlights with larger influencers or celebrities. So we started out in February with David Beckham doing a uh, I wear a collection with Safilo on Luisa Via Roma, and then of course Barbara Strom, and then we did the New York Fashion Week with the Sora sister, and then just two weeks ago we had a live show with Emilia Clark, that's the star of Game of Thrones, together with Clinique. So this is just a, a, a pick of some highlights during this year. Uh, this is a quote from the CMO of Luisa Via Roma, uh, going back to what I said in the beginning. So like really try to looking for new experience to reach the end consumer and to actually you know engage and 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 give them an extra treat than just a picture and some text on your website or e-commerce uh, we're trusted by a lot of customers and and of course the the pandemic and and the whole situation has has gone that way you know the the um, a lot of uh, companies uh, search for this type of, you know, solutions to actually being able to reach the, their consumers in a digital way because of everything going on in the world and how it looks. Um, very small about media mention. We've been in, in both Vogue Business and Glossy. It's just a pick of some media mentions we have been. And we feel very, very happy about, you know, the uh the engagement we get, uh, we really get from the media right now and it's super fun um a little bit about the trend um so we talk about this generation and i know a lot of companies are looking for you know how can we reach the uh, generation z and y that is coming how do we reach these consumers and of course i mean they're born uh, I, I normally say that the, when they were born at the hospital they were born with a smartphone in their hands <laughs> they have been you know they're interacting uh, in live so it can be everything from snapchat to tiktok and of course they blend you know offline and online in everything they do so i, I think that if you want to engage with them and if you want to reach them this is a really nice tool to actually get to uh, be a part of that consumer and then looking where it all came from this is taken off in China in 2015 and grown really big so if you look at last year it was around nine percent of the total uh, amount of e-commerce going through then China so it's a quite big part chunk of their total e-commerce um, uh, in China uh, our solution is three components it's really easy I know everybody says that but it's uh, we're a dinosaur and we made this for dinosaurs so it should be super easy you have a dashboard where you manage users create shows moderate chat and shows products we have an iframe that you embed on your website that's your e-commerce site with it with native design elements and then you need the broadcasting app that you download and that's where you go live a lot of people ask us, okay, what's the difference between Bamboozer and social media? I would say like we're a business to business company. As I said before, we don't, we don't have anything to do with the end consumer. And also like if you're a larger enterprise company, you know, you need to have a multi org, you need to be market agnostic. Uh, also like looking where you have your sales. I mean, I would say 99% of all sales go through your website or e-commerce site today. It's not on our social platform. So we drive the traffic from your social media into your site to actually drive transaction on your e-commerce platform. We don't touch the customer data. We don't sell it to third party. Uh, the quality you get in Bamboo, so you will not get on social media. And also we work with the native cart. So you, when you push somebody into your cart, it's your native cart. Um, just we can talk about all of our customers some of them are larger enterprise and of course we're on the strict ndas but uh, one of the uh, bigger brands we work with of course is at the h&m group they went live back in september with monkey and just the big brand h&m just went live uh, back in um, june so um a little bit back to the to our solution so like i said it's a native experience so 
the, it's a branded design. Your logo, color scheme, iconography. I mean, we we do it directly after the customer. We customize the welcome and thank you screens, and of course, like I said, when we push, we're it's very good to know that we're GDPR compliant. We don't control the cons consumer data. You do it as a customer, and also like the the we push it out into the native cart. We can just go a little bit. I'm I'm looking at the time, so we be cautious of time. Um, how does it look? So we have a pre-show before the show, where you work with newsletter landing pages. You know, you work with your social media ads. A lot of customer push. You know, paid ads. We have a countdown, so you can do the countdown also on your social media and on your own browser. Then you're live, that's where the magic happens. So it's an automated minimized player that pops up on your website. You can also watch this, of course, on the mobile and in an app. Um, and then the host is, is then uh, doing the live show. And after the live show, you can work with the recorded versions where we get a lot of traffic. And of course, you can work with numbers of different types of marketing or automation to retarget the customers that has been into the show. Uh, this is the magic, I would say, with Bamboozer. So average viewing time is around 10 minutes. You will keep your customer on your e-commerce or website for 10 minutes undisturbed. Nobody else is there. Nobody else, you know, it's nothing else is happening. The engagement levels are super high. So one, one third of everybody who's looking is commenting or asking questions and 33% is sending you a lot of love. The add to cart rate is around 23.9, 24% in average. And of course, where we can see where a lot of people that make up in beauty, of course, is the vertical that's leading in, in add to cart and in conversion. This is just a, a case of, you know, the, um, the Elizabeth Roman and Barbara Strom. So they had an add to cart around 20, 27%. They had around 1,000 unique viewers, an average viewing time of 11 minutes, and a lot of chat messages. And the clinic with Emilia Clark, we can we cannot show you any data for public display, but we can say, say that it was a great show and uh, very much appreciated by her fans and the clinic fans. So very, very um, um, quickly, the integration. So this is uh, one of our other customers, Frame Denim, that did a live show back in two weeks ago. So what happens is that the player then, we just do a, a quick integration where we catch uh, the size, color, the variation, and of course, uh, onto your stock. So we need to have some kind of integration with the e-commerce platform to get you know the information about the products. And then where you see here, you highlight the products in the show. If I push, I can then choose a size and I can go directly onto the checkout. When I come to the checkout, the minimize the player minimizes, and I can still you know shop around and and look at the products. Um, uh, the last uh, the last page is about our streaming technology. Like I said, we've been doing uh, mobile live video uh, around 30 years now, so we know what we're doing. So it's it's a very easy, and we have been, of course, iterating this uh, across this year. So we're actually, our customers are able to do live video shopping streams uh, all over the world, except China. That's the only region that we're not sending into right now. We're looking at that. Um, we're sending through Amazon web services so uh, everything that's hosted is going through that so we're global of course and it's easy for us to scale this and we have an adaptive input and output would make this uh, what, what I come back to is like the quality and, you know, like for enterprise companies to being able to, you know, do a, a larger shows in different countries with and, and doing multiple shows a day. I mean, this is what we've worked for for the past 12 years. So you can feel confident with going to with Bamboozer and feeling that you can scale this uh, in all markets and being a global partner for you. So that was everything from Amazing. me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, Miriam. And maybe before we move over to the, the breakout session, I've gotten a couple uh, questions uh, offline. Okay. I'm going to go back and... Um... Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Yes, I'm just going to... A couple right. questions from people uh, that uh, were sent to me. One uh, is you see a lot of live video content on uh, social media accounts. Uh, what, what's the appeal and benefit of hosting live content on your own website as uh, Bamboozer helps its customers do? 
So um, what happens is that, uh, like I said before, if you look at most of our customers, of course, uh, a lot of, you know, not a lot, I mean, most of their sales go through their e-commerce website or like their e-commerce site. So what you do is actually that you use your uh, social media channels to actually being able to drive traffic where you actually have your sales. And of course, like I said in the beginning, you know, if you look going to a lot of e-commerce sites, they're quite static today. And today uh, you make your website more interesting and appealing with shoppable content. So I would say that's the that's the big big difference with doing it on social media. And of course, you don't have the uh, integration and the checkout, and you know you don't have all the uh, how to say yep. the whole product on social media. It's more about live video than live video shopping. I would say so. You have a live video shop, shop live video stream than having, you know, uh, the whole product. Great. And who owns the content and, and how can it be used or repurposed after a live stream? So, uh, like I said before, we're a software company. So um, the companies that we work with own their own content. So it's their content. They can do whatever they want with the content. And after a live, uh, then it comes, of course, recorded. And in our dashboard where you then create the lives, you're actually being able to do the editing on the on the live video and put it out for recorded so if you go, go to a lot of our you know uh, customers website they have uh, a live uh, how to say live built-in in the menu and in there you have then shoppable live videos on recorded so uh, the customer owns um, you know the videos and they can use it again and again and again to promote and actually talk about our products uh, on different places on their e-commerce Great. Sites. And a question from the audience. How do you manage production to quality control or quality assure visual consistency and quality? So we, when we when we onboard a customer, we have an onboarding team uh, that's quite professional. So they actually help our customers in how to set up, you know, uh, a very professional live stream with a simple mobile phone. Because I think if you look at retail companies, you know, when they have done a video before, it has been big studios, and you know, you have a director or a producer. Here, it's about you know getting your marketing team or the team that you have to being able to produce a lot of content. And normally we go by, you know, the companies, uh, they, <laughs> even if you're small or big, you normally have a marketing calendar that like we have these drops and then where we have an onboarding where we actually help the customers with content, but also like how to best, you know, set up a professional environment and being able to send it through a mobile, a simple mobile phone, stream it through a mobile phone. Amazing. Uh, great. Well, if there are any more uh, questions for Miriam, uh, she'll be over in the session, the breakout session off to the left. Um, so join her there for a Q and A. And if you have uh, additional questions for her, you can share them here and I can share them with her. Uh, and again, at the end of our conference, we'll offer the opportunity to connect with her and see how she can be helpful, um, to your brands. Um, awesome. Miriam, thank you very much. And up next is Chris Bodan of, uh, Atlanta. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miriam. Have a nice day. Bye. You too. Bye.